hi and this is my week 5 vlog of being stage manager for Fen. This week we started off with a production meeting with the director. This was very important as we didn't have one the week before, so there was a lot to show her and a lot to update her on. This means that the meeting was full of getting designs signed off and updates for the director. It also meant that the director gave us updates from the rehearsals about blocking, where they are up to in the rehearsal process. This was also because, due to Covid, we weren't allowed to attend rehearsals that week. This was our first production meeting in person, and this meant we had a lot of physical designs to show her, also needing a lot of the final designs to be signed off. During this meeting, everyone was socially distanced and wearing masks at all times, making sure that we were following the current guidelines for Covid-19. Overall, the meeting was very successful, and we were able to get most of the designs signed off. I spent the rest of the week working on props and the budget for the whole show. I held a meeting with set and created a list of props and materials that we required so that we could create a combined set and props costing sheet. We also had a meeting working out who would source what items. This is important as there was no point both of us looking for sourcing of the same items when we could use the wood to build certain props as well as certain set pieces. This is really important as we need the costing to be able to have a meeting with the project manager. This means that we can sort out the budgeting and therefore we can start sourcing the show. This is what we needed required from, for both costumes, set and props to move further on in the process. If this didn't happen now we wouldn't be able to source anything and therefore would fall behind in our production process. I also started to put the props tape together. Looking into storage to see what props we already had and that I required for the show and that were already on our props list. This mainly included the weapons that we required and the set dressing for the kitchen as many as we have many glasses and bottles. Also it required the basic things for any general set dressing of a house. This is really important as all the props need to be together in the cage as we can keep track of what props we need for each production. It also means that we can check to see what props still need to be sourced. I also put the props into the props cage as the props, some of the props are weapons and they must be locked up at all times. This is really important as it's against the law for firearms and weapons not to be locked away in the theatre. This means that only ASMs or stage management can actually unlock the props cage and get it out as they can only be taken out for when they're used in them certain scenes. I finished off the week by starting to make the paper prop of the diary. I found an old book in storage and used a sharpie marker to write my diary on it like a 14 year old girl would have. I also made it look like that a 14 year old girl had written in it, making it look worn out, used and using ink to, of smudges to make it look like it had been written in a lot. This is important as it needs to look realistic and needs to look like it's been used for many years. The reason I used the sharpie for writing is so that it wouldn't rub off and therefore I wouldn't have to redo it before the shows. This is really important as it could have rubbed off onto an actor's hands and therefore got on the costumes, meaning that they would have to wash the costumes more times between the shows. It would also mean that I might have to redo it before the shows, which could take an incredible amount of time. And due to the shows being so close together, we really need to try and avoid as much time restriction things as we can. Overall, the diary looked effective and realistic. And that is what I did this week as stage manager for Fen.